I'm going to be drawn to the ox. And you know what um, the year of the ox means? Hard work and positivity and honesty. I, then we're going to talk about, gonna talk about this Chinese characters we have here later on as we do the drawing. We'll start with the rainbow shape and then we'll go ahead and find um, kind of like a little bit up here of your paper at the center. We're going to create this um, rainbow shape. That's going to be the head of our ox. And next, we're going to make a curve line just below it, but a little wider. Just like that. And then another one below it. And go ahead and do two oval shape at the top inside your rainbow shape and a teeny tiny circle inside it. And go ahead and shade the outer part of that small circle. Next for its nostrils, you can draw an oval shape here as well on the white oval and shade it. There you go. Next, we're going to draw the horns. So we're going to draw two on each side. And draw a line going up. Then from the top, line tap. Same onto the other side. For this, you can lightly shade it. on with our ox face. Up next, we're going to do the body. Well, for the body, you can draw a line going down, going outwards, away from each other, both sides. And then down here, a line, kind of like a letter C, a big C, going down. Now from here, we're gonna create this um, curved line all the way down, connected to where you end the curved line down here. Same on the right side. And then another curved line smaller. Inside it. And then connect them. And for its feet, we're going to draw another curve line down here. We'll start with this. Kind of like a W shape. Going up, down, and up again. Same on the other side. Down, up, down, up. And go ahead and shade it. For the back side, we're going to create a curve instead of a W. It's not that pointy at the bottom, but more of a curve. 
just like that. Same on the other side. And then you can go ahead and shade it as well. All right, now for the belly part, we'll go ahead and connect this together at the bottom. And make a little, kind of like a round shape, just like that. That's gonna be the ox belly. We can go ahead and shade it as well. Next, we're gonna draw our ox tail. We're gonna draw it on the left side. So line up. And for the, the hair of its tail, just gonna create kind of like a fire. like that it has spikes up top and then you can go ahead and shade it all right we're done with the ox now we're gonna do the lanterns extra details for it. So let's we'll start with the left side on my left side. From the top going here about five inches or seven, two lines down. A rectangle shape. And a curve line going down. Connect them together. And do another rectangle shape at the bottom. For the tassel, I'm just gonna draw vertical lines like this. This time, I know it's gonna be tricky because this is going to be the Chinese character. We're gonna draw inside a lantern. And that means good luck. Or good luck for the whole year 2021. We're just gonna draw a slanted line here, kind of like an oblong, kind of like a number seven, but a curvy number seven. Just below here, straight line down. And another oblong down here. All right, next, another curve line, but a slanted curve line like this. And then below it, we're going to draw kind of like a curvy square. So it's like a square. But you see one side is a bit curvy. We'll draw a bigger one of that square just below it. But with a small letter T inside. And this good luck, they usually put it on the the red packet or like an envelope they give away, it's kind of like this. It, um, 
they put um, small money inside, you know, like a fives or twenties. It's for good fortune for younger kids or employees. So we put it on the lantern too. Do the other lantern on the right side. The two lines going down again. Rectangle. A long curve line going down. Connect them. The rectangle. And then again, the tassels. So just a few lines going down. With this one, we're just gonna write the 2021. So it's like, um, good luck, 2021. All right, go ahead and write number two, zero, two, and one. All right. For those of you who doesn't know, Chinese New Year is called Chunji in China, which is also means spring festival. So they like to draw orchids around their symbols as well. So we can go ahead and draw some orchids. So it's just five petals, one, two, three, four, five. and then create these lines of all five petals inside it. In each one. Okay, let's do a couple of more. One, two, three, four, five lines inside it. You can draw that flower anywhere you want, maybe around. The box three, four, five. Another one. One, two. Three, four, five. And then lastly, we'll create this Chinese cloud. It's a different one, but create a line and a curve up, going up. Swirl and up. And then you can do another swirl up here. And some more curve lines. Maybe you can draw another one here. Same thing, a line, curve, a twirl. That's our year of the ox, the Chinese New Year, and they call it Konghei Pa Choi in Cantonese. 